This is Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Jenkins versus Flores. Ms. Jenkins, it's my understanding you're suing Mr. Flores for injuries you sustained when you slipped and fell at his gas station. You're asking this court to award you $10,000 for past medicals, $45,000 for your future medicals, $150,000 for pain and suffering for a total award of $205,000. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Flores, it's your position that she knew everything you know, and had she looked at your sign, she never would have been injured. Yes, Your Honor. So let's get into the legal sauce. Ms. Jenkins, how did you get to this gas station this day? Well, Your Honor, my husband and I, we own a gift basket company. So we make these gift baskets and we deliver them all over the tri-state area. We own two vans and that's what we used to deliver them. And so on this particular day, we were driving, um, we were going on a route. It was a very rural area. Um, we weren't gonna hit another gas station or a rest stop for miles. So we decided to stop at this restroom on that day. So you and your husband started this delivery business together? Yes, it's a gift basket business, Your Honor. And so we actually take them to the customers ourselves. Yes, sir. We started about two years ago, so we really enjoy it. We have a lot of fun with it, and the driving part, too, I really enjoy. Tell me about your gas station, Mr. Flores. Well, Your Honor, I do own this gas station. Um, we're located remotely off the interstate. Um, there's a picture of me right there, nice, handsome fellow. Um, if you say so yourself. Hey, I do say so, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Well, we are fairly convenient for people coming in and out of the city. Uh, we have a steady in clientele coming in day in, day out. Um, the truckers keep us busy, and we've never had any problems with any security issues. I got a trusty tire iron for it in case we do. And uh, <laughs> as far as my relationship with uh, Ms. Jenkins, we only met in passing. It was very brief. Um, she came in asking for a restroom key, which I did give to her, but I left the premises soon after, so I have no knowledge of what went down. So once you got the restroom key, what happened? Since he gives me the bathroom key, it's a piece of, it's a key attached to this big chunk of wood and says the restroom's out back, you know? So I go out back, there's a grimy door with the unisex sign on it. So I'm thinking, oh man. Wow. And you know, I go inside and immediately the sight and the smell of this bathroom almost made me lose my lunch. I mean, just the smell, if I could describe it, it's like, like stale urine and rotten trash. Yeah. That's the bathroom? That's, yeah, yes, Your Honor. Yes, that is. And it was absolutely disgusting. Unfortunately. I can almost smell that through the screen. You can. I think you can. You know? So, Ms. Jenkins, how did you get hurt? Okay, so, Your Honor, after I walk into this disgusting death trap, there are more wet paper towels and junk all over the floor near the stall. So, I'm going to use the restroom, you know, do what I got to do. And as I'm going to use it, my foot slips on some of the paper towels that were under my feet. And I fall, you know? I hit my head really hard, and when I made contact with the ground, Your That's Honor... That's what it looked like? Yes, 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 that right there. And when I made contact with the ground, I could hear my back crack and my leg snap, you know? And I just, I laid there in agony because I couldn't move. I couldn't reach my phone to call my husband. And I laid there sc screaming for help for what felt like hours on this filthy floor. I mean... It was, it was absolutely awful. It was a nightmare. Mr. And Flores, come on, man. That, is that what your bathrooms look like? Your Honor, I've never seen that picture before in my Do life. Do you use that bathroom? Your Honor, I've never had a problem with the facility. Well, not whether it works, but whether it's disgusting. Well, Your Honor, look, we had some issues with this restroom earlier in the day. Okay. We had a plumbing issue. What I did was I put a wet floor sign on the door after my plumber came in and rectified the situation. So the toilet had overflowed before Miss Jenkins went into the bathroom? Yes, Your Honor. And that's why you had the sign on the door? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Jenkins, you've got a black eye. What, what yeah. caused your black eye? Would you like me to show you your Yes, ma'am, please. Okay. Take your time. <clears throat> okay, so... You know, this is the stall, as you can see here, and my feet would be right about in there, and I slipped. This wall that's right there, that's, that's right there in that spot. So, I, my, this slips from under me, my back hits the back of the toilet, and as I cripple over when I'm falling, my head hits this metal piece right there, Your Honor. Yeah. Okay. Your Honor, that's a tight space the there. That's a lot of contorting to have all these extended... And it's injuries. a lot of pain as well, yeah. It yeah. happened. Yeah. What, what, do you believe she wasn't hurt in your bathroom? Uh, I'm not saying whether or not she was hurt. 
I'm just saying whether or not she did not know. She knew the fact that we had a wet floor sign on the door and she should have been more careful. And I heard something about you taking pictures. Huh? Well, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Couldn't you have just locked it and said, ma'am, I'm sorry, our bathroom is not in any shape Thank you. for anyone Thank you. to use? Yes. Exactly. Your Honor, the restroom was usable. The restroom was had not it, usable. Had it had not been usable, if you could not flush the toilet, we've got people coming in and out every day. I heard not one complaint Are you from telling... any of the patrons that Are came into the store okay. until Do Ms. you really think that your wet floor sign did enough Address warning me, for that? It's enough, it's enough for you to know no. to be cautious when you go in no, the door. No, well, wait a minute. Let's, let's add some balance to this now. You saw the wet floor sign. It yes. wasn't a secret to you, right? No, exactly. Your Honor, it was not. I saw the wet floor sign, but honestly, I don't think it was enough of a warning here. I mean, a wet, this is more than a wet floor. I unfortunately put my feet in it, and my feet stuck to the ground as my feet were in it. But I mean, we had this to go. This is just nasty. It's just nasty. It's awful. That You it's... can't be proud of that bathroom, right, Mr. Flores? Your Honor, to my defense, the floor was wet. We told her as plain as day. And as the far... The floor was filthy. I well, mean, that, that's beyond wet. Well, Your Honor, I was away from the premises at the time of this accident. I mean, how do we know that de she didn't mess up the bathroom oh, herself? But let on. me, let me... Are you kidding me? Mr. Flores... Where could I have gotten that much dirt and mess to make it even look like that? Are you serious right now? I know this is important to you. You've been injured, but you gotta address me. Mr. Flores, why didn't you just have somebody go in there and clean that bathroom up? I was not there, Your Honor. Well, let me give you a legal lesson. As a business owner, just because you leave the premises doesn't mean you're relieved of a responsibility exactly. to have your place be safe. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. What's your honor? As far as the restroom situation goes, Ms. Jenkins could have alerted the clerk that was on duty of this horrendous bathroom condition. Well, hold Are on for a minute. Uh, you mean y'all didn't know this bathroom was nasty? Thank you. I had no earthly idea. Well, Ms. Jenkins, you did myself. know it was nasty. I did know that right? it was very nasty, Your Honor. Just like I said to Mr. Flores, he mm -hmm. could have closed it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know there are some circumstances that are more urgent than common sense would allow, mm -hmm. but couldn't you have just gone down the road to another bathroom? No! If we could have gone down the road to another gas station, please believe me, we would have. Unfortunately, on our route, this was going to be the last gas station for miles and miles and miles. So, tell and me about stuff... your injuries. Oh, my goodness. Where do I start? Well, to begin, when I got to the hospital, they told me that I had a herniated disc in my back. So, I have a lumbar fusion issue that's going to require another surgery later on down the road. The recovery time alone is going to be three months, you know? The, the medical bills are going to be very expensive. I'm going to probably have to do physical therapy after that. I mean, this whole ordeal has just been, has just been a nightmare. The future medicals of $45,000 yes. are for your surgery? Yes, my surgery and any impending physical therapy that I'll have to have thereafter, Your Honor. And that is to correct your herniated disc in your back? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Now, what about your head and your neck? You've got a neck brace on and yes. clearly your head has yes. been disturbed. Well, I hit my head really hard, as you can see here, obviously. And, you know, I have headaches now all the time. Um, most of the time, I'm, I'm in pain. Between my head and the extent of my back pain is so bad that they put me in this because they didn't want me to, to risk, you know, messing anything up before my surgery. And honestly, Your Honor, if I could describe the pain that I've been in on a daily basis. Your then, Honor, the extent, it, the, the, the extent of all these injuries are not my fault. Well, you, is, you see that there are severe injuries, right? Yes, I do. But I would like to see, uh, do we have x-rays to verify that all of these injuries are actually accurate? So you, do, do, well, let's, so, let's talk about that. I mean, do you it, doubt that she it was injured on your place? She was very difficult to have the extent of the injuries that you did with the length of the fall that you had in this restroom. I don't buy one bit. I'm really not sure I like the way you're approaching this. You know, I, you know we did our what, part. What reason do I have as the judge to doubt whether she's telling the truth? Is she coming in here faking this whole thing? Where are the x-rays? Just as to the injuries. What are the, the, the x-rays? Where's the physician that can verify that oh, she's actually no. injured? Well, here's what I've got to do as a judge. I've got to look at the evidence. Ms. Jenkins has submitted $10,000 in past medical bills mm -hmm. and projected surgeries that are going to cost $45,000 from her doctors. Mm -hmm. Now, unless you have some evidence to challenge that, it stands as true. Thank Not you. whether you're responsible, I'll figure that out, but whether she's injured, unless you can tell me something other than your opinion, 
I got to conclude that she's been hurt very badly. Thank well, you, Your Honor. Thank you. Ms. Jenkins, yes, you, you brought your husband with you. Yes, yes, I Mr. did. Mr. Ralph Jenkins. Mr. Jenkins, would you stand and go to the podium, please? Yes, sir. What has this done to your family? Well, Yana, first of all, it's really affected our love life. I mean, like, she has problems in bed. And, you know, like she says, she has uh, headaches all the time. So it's really put a strain on our relationship. This is a, a big number you're asking for, Ms. Jenkins. Yes. $150,000 in pain and suffering. Yes. Tell me why I ought to give that to you. My life isn't even my life anymore. Like, my husband, you know, touched on briefly, everything has changed for us. I can't work right now. I can't drive, you know, my truck. So our business is in jeopardy. The bills keep coming in and coming in. We have no idea what's going to happen financially in the future. I've been feeling very depressed. I don't feel like myself. And I'm on this pain medication and it makes me feel disoriented. It's just so hard because we have no idea what's going to happen to us after this. I have no idea if my life is ever going to look the same again, what's going to happen to my business. Mr. Flores, you see these injuries have changed this family. Your Honor, please do not let this emotional charade take you away from the truth. What? The truth of you the know, matter is... You know, I thought is... that you had had the point when I said it in the past. This, this whole approach drives me crazy because you have no reason to doubt whether this lady was hurt, whether this family was affected. I'm, I'm gonna really push you to the wall. How often were you having people inspect and clean those bathrooms? Your Honor, we run a tight ship. No, it's not that Now, great. you know how you wanted me to doubt her injuries? Mm -mm. I'm doubting now your tight ship when, when the ship looks like that, and I did say ship. Exactly. Your Honor. Exactly. Your Honor, we had no complaints until no. Ms. Jenkins came by. It doesn't matter. So that matter. makes it right, though? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't how matter. is it, it that matter. the only people that are complaining are you? No. What, what I, you know, a six-figure price just, tag attached to your complaint. Just well, y'all talk to me. No, just be... Order in this court. Now, when I bang this gavel again, I'm gonna get active. Address your comments to me, or I'm gonna throw all of y'all out of this courtroom. And, Your Honor, if I may, he knew the bathroom was not being upkept, and I know because I have pictures, okay? I have pictures of the restroom. I'm glad you did take pictures. And I have pictures pictures. of the service record. You I submitted took... those to the court? Yes, yes, Your Honor. All I right, let's take a peek the at it. record. And if you look, look there, Your Honor. The last date of time that someone signed off on cleaning that restroom was at 9 a.m. that morning. I fell around 3.15 p.m. that afternoon. Now, That's Mr. a Flora, long time. If your folks were inspecting and cleaning the bathroom, there should be signatures or at least initials all the way down, right? There should be, Your Honor. Now, when I look at that, should I assume that it wasn't cleaned after 9 a.m.? I'm guessing that that didn't happen, but I have no way to tell. Folks, I think I've heard what I need to hear. I'm ready to render my decision. In every personal injury case, the plaintiff has to prove three things. You've got to prove that the defendant did something wrong. That's the first thing. And then the defendant's wrong caused your injuries. You've put up evidence that you thought it was simply a wet floor, and you get in there, about to sit down, slip on this paper towel, whatever trash was on that floor, and your whole life changed. I don't care how you got it, but you were injured in that stall. That is clear in my mind. Mr. Flores, y'all had nasty bathrooms, okay? <laughs> but nasty does not mean negligence. Here, the legal principle is superior knowledge of a hazard. The hazard is debris on the floor that caused you to fall. Under the law, if Mr. Flores knows more about that hazard than you do, you win. If you know, both know about the hazard equally, you lose. Now, Ms. Jenkins, when you went into the bathroom, you knew the floor was gonna be wet because you saw the wet floor sign. When you opened the door and saw all the trash on the floor, you knew what the hazard was. You went into the stall, did your best, but the law says, you knew as much about the hazard in that bathroom as Mr. Flores did. Oh, yeah. And I hate this ruling, but I am wedded to the law. I've got to find against you because you had equal knowledge of the hazard. Yes. So I find for the defendant, that's my final ruling, and this matter is adjourned. Yes! <laughs> yes, sir! 
Oh, Mr. Flores, you do not celebrate in my courtroom. You should be ashamed of the way these bathrooms were. The law is the only reason I found in your favor. If it was about how well you kept these bathrooms, or frankly, even your attitude, I'd give them everything they wanted and put you in jail. You gotta do better from this moment on and take your celebration elsewhere. Our attorneys across America just viewed this case for the first time. Let's hear what Leonard Lundy has to say. The defendant alleged that Mrs. Jenkins was faking or exaggerating her injuries, yet had no evidence to support his defense. The plaintiff presented medical evidence about her injuries and treatment, so Judge Gino rejected the defense. Although her injuries were severe, she lost because she knew the floor was slick and hazardous and was hurt as a result of her ignoring the risk of injury.